Hey what up guys, it's Mike from PressureWasherReview.net and today I've got the Powerhouse International Force 2000 electric pressure washer to review. Um, this pressure washer supports 3000 initial power boosts um, but averages around uh, 2000 PSI. Um, so it's a great pressure washer um, that can do a lot of things in the electric range. Um, it has 1.6 gallons per minute and uh, we'll open this up and get an unbox for you. Got a couple pieces here. Um, I guess we'll find out what they are in the instructions because I'm not sure. But uh, looks like we got a wrench for the hose connections. Uh, looks like this is a turbo nozzle. The instruction manual, the cleaning tool, an extra washer. Pull up the styrofoam here. Um, we have a cleaning bottle for a cleaning solution. Pull this guy out. Inside we've got the actual gun. Down. It looks like the wand is still in there. There goes my phone. Uh, yes. Anyways, uh, I guess we just lost the second down. Hopefully my phone's not bro broken too. Um, but uh, looks like we got another piece to the lance there. Um, another piece with another nozzle attached. And looks like this is a surface cleaner, which is an awesome product. Recommend having one. Um, looks like we have to put it together here, um, but there are some screws and whatnot to attach it. So, uh, anyways, this is it. Hey guys, this is Mike again from PressureWasherReview.net. And it looks like my phone survived. If you watched the first unboxing video, the, this phone was used to uh, as a second camera and fell down. And it seems to be all right. Anyways, this is uh, my initial review of the unboxing process and how it all went. And the initial overview before I actually put it to work outside. So again, this is the Force 2000. I've got it all set up here. Um, this is the surface cleaning attachment right here. Um, it attached to these little parts that just clipped right on and uh, it seemed kind of tricky to get the two screws in that came with it to attach this part right here um, they weren't lining up right away um, I guess that could be changed maybe in the future where this piece has like a little groove that it fits in first because um, it kind of just moved around and the screws didn't line up too well but other than that, it uh, works out great. Um, you can see there's the hose reel here. Um, this closes in. You can put that in and out to move it up and down. Um, but that's really handy to, you know, wind up your your hose. The only thing I don't know about yet is uh, this power cord area, how it's gonna wrap around nicely. But uh, we'll see. Um, down here, you've got the on and off button. Quickly turn on the power on and off. Um, this is where your 
power washer and hose goes right into and it's a quick disconnect just like this um, slide in and out and then your hose garden hose attached there um, on the side here you can see this is the long gun that uh, clips in nicely to this area right here and then you got another attachment area here where you can put you know some other attachments there um, I don't really have a need for one there but I guess you could put you know another uh, nozzle or something another lance um, right around back you've got the soap bottle clips on right here um, it's nice these little clips are here and right at the top where you can clip on your different attachments so you just clip them in right there and again here's uh, another turbo nozzle right up here and uh, two more nozzle attachments here they don't come with extra nozzles and I'm not sure if you can buy any more but uh, if you do those are where they would go and I think you probably only need two nozzles you know you got the turbo nozzle and then the included fan nozzle right here that you can twist and depending on how much you twist it you know fans out um, again this is the force 2000 and it's an electric pressure washer that has initial power boost of up to 3000 psi but again it averages around uh, 2000 psi and uh, yeah we'll get it outside and test it out and see how it goes from there talk to you later guys